Hi lovely people, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about lipstick. My top favorite bright lipstick colors which includes reds, hot pinks and bright oranges. Now this has been a highly requested video and uh, of course I meet women all the time who are constantly asking me for my top favorite bright lipsticks and red however remains the top of everyone's list. So I'm going to start with my favorite colors now. So the first lipstick that I'm wearing right now on my lips is the Rouge Dior 999 Matte. Now this is that perfect red with an orange undertone and uh, what I like about the texture of this lipstick is that in spite of it being matte, it goes on to the lip really smooth. And uh, I'm just going to swatch it on my hand also for people to have a good look. Now always remember ladies. Any colors that have an orange undertone really works very well for Indian complexion because it gives it a certain warmth which kind of works for us. So there you go, a good swatch of uh, the Dior 999 Rouge Dior Matte Lipstick. I, In fact, I've just recently discovered it and I've completely fallen in love. I've used it already on more than two dozen brides and uh, it has not disappointed me. It stays in place also. The next color which is top of my list is the MAC Ruby Woo. Now who does not know this color? It's one of MAC's top selling colors and uh, if you ever run out of it and you go to any MAC store, mostly they are sold out. So in case you find this at a counter at any point, you must buy it immediately. It has a cool blue undertone and uh, I also feel that it kind of really works well for very fair women. Surprisingly, this color also works beautifully on most Indian skin tones. So in case you do not know what to buy, Ruby Woo, MAC Ruby Woo is always an option. But remember one thing, this is a tad bit too dry. If I compare the texture of the lipstick, to the one I used in Dior. Dior is more creamy and it just kind of comes on to the lip really easy. If you're somebody whose lips are usually dry or chapped, this is one color you would not like to invest in. And the next color in red that I'm gonna talk about is the Faces All Time Pro. Matte Lip Crayon, it's called Midnight Rose in shade 12. Now this is that perfect deep red which kind of works wonderfully for women who are really dark and dusky. And uh, this also has a cool undertone and uh, it would just kind of pop out on all those dusky dark Indian beauties. And I also feel that it would look great on very fair women who are kind of looking for a more intense deep red and not a really bright one. What I really love about the Faces All Time Pro uh, lip crayons are that they're really creamy and color intense. The only thing is that, that you will have to make the lipstick last longer by setting it with powder first and then kind of doing another coat on top and this would definitely last you. It does not give a very dry feeling to the lips, unlike the MAC Ruby Woo lipstick. The next red lipstick is a drugstore lipstick and I'm sure everybody's looking forward to this option. I am talking about the NYX matte lipstick and it's called the Perfect Red. So there it is on my lip. An application was really easy. It's not overtly dry in texture it just kind of really glides out to your lip very easy it would be perfect even if you have extremely dry chapped lips again in terms of texture this kind of wins over the mac ruby Woo, which feels extremely dry over the lips and uh, it also has a orange undertone and i would actually compare it a lot more to the dior red lipstick that i showed you girls first and uh, I'm going to confirm the prices of all these lipsticks and they are going to be mentioned right at the end as well. And this one right here is the MAC Lady Danger. It's the perfect orange lipstick if you are looking for one. 
it has a matte texture however it's not as matte as the mac ruby Boo. this one this one kind of really goes on smoothly onto the lip and here is a perfect swatch of it on my hand and um, I have in fact used this color on a lot of brides of course everybody knows that red and orange and hot pink are the are primarily the bright colors that most brides wear Lady Danger remains one of my top favorite orange lipsticks And this one right here on my lips is the NYX Indie Flick. Now it is the perfect bright, almost neon orange. So if you're looking for a really bright pop of color on your lips in a shade of orange, the NYX Indie Flick is the color to buy. And no, this is nowhere close to the MAC Lady Danger that I just showed you. This one is really bright and in your face. Lady Danger is slightly a little more darker than this I mean if given a choice between the both of them I would definitely choose the Mac Lady Danger however I think this is one of like one of the nicest bright orange colors that I have actually come across in a drugstore brand like NYX and this one right here is the Faces Ultime Pro matte lip crayon and the shade is called obsession now this is a uh, pretty similar to the next shade it's quite bright and in your face and um, between nyx and this color i definitely prefer the faces color uh, i also like the faces lipsticks more primarily for the reason that it's so easy to apply because it's in a pencil shape however I'm not saying that the MAC lipstick, uh, the NYX lipstick is any bad. However, between the brightness of this and the NYX color, the NYX is a tad bit more bright and I'm somebody who kind of stays away from neon colors. However, if you are somebody who's totally into neon bright shades, the NYX Indie Flick is a better, brighter color and this is just a tad bit softer than that. And yes, the NYX Indie Flicks and the Ultime Pro Matte Lip Crayon Obsession. I would not really recommend this color for women who are kind of dusky. It really works for women who are fair to medium Indian skin tones. Lady Danger, however, would work for a dusky skin tone. And next I'm gonna show you my top favorite orange color for all skin types. But yes, it's not really bright, but I love it. So if you all ask me about one orange lipstick to buy out of all the lipsticks that I'm showing to you, this is the color to buy. It's called So Short by Manic. I know it's not really bright, however it's not really a very dull orange as well. And this is one color that would kind of work for fair to medium to dusky to dark skin tone. And um, in fact this has been one of the oldest orange lipsticks in my kit. And if I run out of it, I'm definitely going to go back and buy it. And if you're looking for a bright pink pop lipstick, which is not really neon pink but is really bright, the color that you need to buy is Pink Pigeon right here on my lips. And, uh, Another thing about it is that it is a matte lipstick, however, it is not a retro matte which is excessively dry on the lips. So this one kind of really glides on to the skin really well. I would say this would work perfectly. It has a blue undertone. It would work perfectly for really fair to medium in its skin tone. Dusky, dark women should stay away from this color. It will not look nice on them. And this color right here is called the MAC Relentlessly Red. Now I know it's called Relentlessly Red and I've used it in the pink category because I think it's more pink than it really is red. And I mostly use it on those brides who've got, you know, those, those red hangers which have a pink undertone to it. And uh, it's one of my favorite bright colors. It's so unusual. It, you know, I mean, totally stirs care of a typical red however it does not look in your face pink and absolutely love that uh, 
beautiful bright undertone it's again a blue undertone and i would really recommend this for fair to medium indian skin tones however if you use the right lip liner say a tad bit darker and then use this lipstick all over it i feel that the dusky british complexion girls should also be able to use it and uh, wear it really well And this one right here is the Faces Ultime Pro Lip Crayon in Hot Wired. A true blue hot pink. If I mean it's not too candy, it's not too dark. If you're somebody looking for the perfect shade of hot pink, this is the color to buy. It will work for all complexions except women, women who are extremely dark in complexion. Of course, to feed myself, if they use a burgundy lip liner and put this lipstick on top of it, it can work for their complexion as well. So, the perfect pink, I use this all the time on my brides and I absolutely love it. And this pink, my ladies, has been one of my favorite pink in the last year and a half now. And I have worn it so many times outside as well. This one is called the MAC Flat Out Fabulous. Perfect for my dusky divas. I mean, for them, this is one color that they should just not think twice before wearing. However, it works for all skin tones. It has a beautiful, lovely blue on the tone. Pops out on everyone, all the fair girls. This would look relatively deeper pink on them. And for the dusky Indian skin tone, it would look like a perfect bright mouth, which would work very well and enhance their complexion. And again, it is a matte lipstick, not too dry, does not, um, have a, however, it is still not as creamy as the Dior lipstick that I had shown you first. So, I can't really tell you one top favorite in each category because there are I mean, so in the red, my top favorite is the Dior Matte Red 999. Absolutely in love with it ever since I've discovered it. And I think it works for all complexions. So it's a complete win-win situation for a makeup artist specifically, right? Apart from that, totally in love with So Short in the orange bracket. I mean, clearly I'm not somebody who loves a bright neon lipstick however I'm not saying that it's bad to wear one I mean everybody I mean everybody should wear lipstick that they like I mean it could be the brightest color or it could be a really nude lipstick I mean as long as it makes you happy in the pink segment however hot wired from faces cosmetics and flat out fabulous from Mac are my two top favorite pinks I mean absolutely love those colors and yes, I would also like to give the Faces Midnight Rose Red, which I showed you in the red segment, as one of my other favorite reds. I mean, I think it is so sultry, so sexy, that perfect deep red. So tell me ladies how you like this video. My lips are on fire. The number of times I've swatched lipsticks and removed it. Oh my God, I can't tell you how much it's hurting. I definitely need to take a break. And you tell me which is your favorite lipstick out of the ones that I just showed you. If you're not following me on Instagram, follow me now. My handle is Chani Singh Studio. I keep doing a lot of mini mm -hmm. makeup tutorials on that too. And uh, I'm going to be starting my professional makeup course in March this year and I shall be announcing it soon. So take care lovely ladies and wear that lipstick.